said, this is crazy. I didn't agree or disagree. She wanted some answers. I bit her neck. She kissed my ear. It was nearly three in the morning. We had just returned. The apartment was dark and quiet. We were on the living room floor. She repeated, Philip, this is crazy. Her crinoline broke under us like cinders. Furniture loomed all around. Steady chairs, a table with a lamp. Pictures were cloudy, blotchless, drifting above. But no lights. No things to look at. No eyes in her head. She was underneath me and warm. The rug was warm, soft as mud, deep. Her crinoline cracked like sticks. Our naked bellies clapped together. Air fired out like farts. We took it as applause. The chandelier clicked. The clock ticked as it just split glass. Philip, she said, this is crazy. A little voice against the brain and power. Not enough to stop me. Yet, once I had been a man of feeling, we went to concerts, walked in the park, trembled in the maid's room. Now in the foyer, a flash of hair and claws, we stumbled in the living room floor. She said, Philip, this is crazy. 